Hello Gemini, how are you? This is your love reading from the 3rd of June till the 9th of June. June people, June. I can't believe we are there. I'm going to be calling in your spirit guides to guide this reading because that's why they're called spirit guides. They guide us in life and what we need to be doing and direction. So I asked them to come in so that we can do that. I'm going to be checking this week. I want them to truly guide the reading by the way. So I'm going to be checking the energy on the bottom of the decks. So I want them to actually show us the direction in which we are going, which will be the energy that we take out. Then we're going to be looking into your person's energy, your energy. It is a general reading, so if you want to reverse these energies, feel free to do so. If you also want to, um, what? No, if you want to check out the extended to the reading, you can check in the description box below. There will be an extended um, where we check into your person's intentions and feelings towards you. But uh, yeah, if it is your reading, you're going to know. You see, there's some noise going on in the background. Did you hear a bang? It's locked down blues for all the YouTube people who are making videos on YouTube. They're just like, hey, spirit guides, let's get the energy on the bottom of this card. No way. This is deja vu. I cannot... You just saw me shuffling these cards because I wonder if I haven't lost my mind. Okay. The previous reading I did, which was Taurus, got the lover's card coming out as a direction in which the reading is going. Well, duh, it is a love reading. So Spirit Guides is like, duh. I mean, it's a love reading. Of course, the lover's card is going to come out. Okay. So this is a connection that you're in. You're in love with someone. They're in love with you. What is going on between you and this person? <laughs> Maybe if I'm like doing a financial reading, financial reading, spirit guides, please lead the way. They're going to come up with like ace of pentacles, like, yay. <laughs> okay, so, right, let's see. Your energy, your person's energy, please, guides, your energy, your person's energy. Oh, let's have a look and see. I'm very curious to see what comes out here. Ace of wands energy, reverse energy. Oh, no way. <laughs> Another lover's card has come out. But you got the Ace of Wands reverse energy. Somebody is definitely wanting to reconcile with you. Either somebody wants to reconcile with you. This is also the Gemini card. has come out twice here. You guys are Gemini. No, man. This is cray cray. If you watched last week's reading, do you remember that insane reading? That was a twin flame reading. It's coming back again. The reading's back. It's you guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you? If it's you, you remember that reading. My goodness, that was mind-blowing reading. It's you guys again. It's the same energy. Um, you're waiting. You're waiting. It was not the same energy. This is new, but this is very strong. I mean, this is two lovers cards that have just come out. I promise you, if two of cups comes out here, yeah, I don't know. Then I give up. I don't know. Then it guides really. <laughs> um you waiting though for this person. You are waiting. The Ace of Wands is about waiting. The Ace of Wands is like, I'm waiting for this person to contact me. I'm waiting patiently, almost like. It's like this connection has been put on hold for some reason. You, there's almost a bit of a frustrating energy on your side here. It's like you want to proceed with it, but the time is not right. This is crazy. I feel like I'm doing redoing last week's reading. You should go check last week's Gemini reading. It blew my mind. And I'm the tarot reader. And my mind got blown. So let's have a look and see. I'm curious. Let's look more into this energy, this lover, this person. This person truly loves you, hey? This person loves you, loves you, loves you. On your side, you're frustrated, you're waiting. Why? That's what I want to know. My goodness. I've got the hiccups for some reason. Uh, not that one. God, say not that. Keep going. There we go. So let's see what is going on here. Let's look more deeper into what is going on here. Yeah, this person has kept you. I have to stop. This person's kept you. You know what? Both of you know that this is a connection. You both know that you love each other. But you've had to pull your energy back. They've kept you waiting too long. So you've had to put your little, little bit of a sword up there. You might have actually had to break contact with this person because they're not moving this connection. Yes, they're not moving this connection forward. You guys, oh my gosh. You guys are so energetically matched, hey? Like, since last week, Gemini. Hello. Wow. Um, Queen of Swords. 
King of Swords. Lovers, lovers. Wow. But I think you've pulled your energy back from this person. They're not moving. They're not doing... They're not showing growth here. They're not making commitment. They're not moving this connection forward. They're holding back for some reason. And you can't. You're like, no. Um, I can't stay in a situation like this. I can't stay in a situation where there's no growth. Um, then you're hot. Then you're cold. So I'm pulling back. Hmm. <clears throat> this is getting interesting. But this, you see? Yeah, we go. The twin flames will be meeting. Very huge amounts of twin flames will be meeting from 2020 onwards. It has started in the year 2000, uh, but it has increased. It is going to increase like crazy from now on. Um, because of the time that we are going through, I think you remember, if you remember the last reading, um, check it out. I put a whole big explanation there about what is going on with Twin Flames, what you guys actually are, what you're doing about the light, light body activation. Um, it's very interesting. Um, again, like let me tell you, runner, chaser, chaser, runner, right here. Now you're the one that's pulling your energy out pulling your energy back. It's because they don't give you any other choice to do so. I want to see your future actions. Wow, guys, you better guide this reading because this is always, for me, whenever I get these energies of twin flames coming through, I know this is not easy at all. Not easy at all, at all, at all. It's not easy. I don't know if I would want to meet my twin flame <laughs> in my lifetime right now. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know because you know this is your reading. This is just really hard, but it's, you can't help it. How can you help this lovers being here? Yeah, the lovers being there. How do you help this energetically match? King and Queen of Swords. It doesn't matter what energy is, male or female. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Let's see. You know what you're going to do? You're going to be strong because the strength card has come out. That's also the Leo card. Boy, oh boy. <sighs> Major arcanas here. Uh, you guys are activating each other's light bodies. You're activating each other's shadow sides. You know what? You're doing the right thing right now. Um, by pulling back your energy like this, waiting for a better time to proceed, I think this is going to work in your favor because this is not easy for you to do. It is taking a lot out of you to pull back from this kind of connection. It's taking a lot out of you with the strength card being there, but you're doing it. You know you're doing the right thing. It's almost like they said you have to give this person time to sort this stuff out. You have to give them time. You're going through something as well by pulling your energy back with the Queen of Swords in the reverse energy. You're also going through something. But you're doing something within yourself. There's a process happening within you that is, in fact, a healing. It is a, karmic, a breaking of karma, what you are doing. It is not easy because I'm feeling it inside like your chest, your stomach. Almost like just between, you know, the heart and the, the belly button area. There's this like dark, heavy thing. And it's what you carry because of having to pull energy back from them. It's not easy. It's almost like a little bit of anxiety. It's like you go through your day, everyday life and you're doing things, but you're carrying a rock, you know, in your tummy. And... Um, it's not easy. That's why you need to have the strength to do so. But in doing so, you are working. It's like that, that rock, that feeling that you're feeling, that is the shadow that gets activated when twin flames meet. And that is what you have to look at. What is that rock in your tummy? What is that dark, heavy thing that you carry day to day because you can't be with this person because you had to pull your energy back? Look at that because that's what you need to heal. You need to find out what that is. You need to find out how do I make peace with that? How do I let it go? How do I free myself? And that is what the strength card does. Because if you do that, you will get the justice card that comes out. And that is when you heal the karma that you carry. This is your guy's connection. Um, twin flame, I'm like 80% sure, yes. If not soulmate, but past lives, yes, you have connected in past lives. Because I see the infinity symbol on the top of the strength card. The infinity symbol is past life energy. It's got to do with karma. You heal this within you. 
you help to heal this person as well. You need to know one thing. You need to be in love with this person. And even when you're not with them, you don't feel pain. You need to be able to love them from a distance. Because I understand something here. This is what Spirit Guide is even telling me, which I didn't know after this. Something new for me too. They say, you can feel fulfilled in loving this person even if you're not with them. Because you're not, not with them. You're always with them. They always with you. You're always connected. You can speak to this person in your mind and not even see them. You can forgive them. You can speak to them. You can tell them you love them just energetically and they will know. They will feel it. Wow. So it's not like the feeling of the pit of your stomach is not that you guys are not together. You're always together. Even when you're not together, you together, okay? You are one. The feeling in the pit of your stomach has got to do with you. You have to examine that. Find out what that is. Find out how to heal that when you do so. And I just turned, I've got a stopwatch here because I need to check how I can talk like for 15 to 35 minutes on a reading if I don't check myself. And as I looked down at the watch, it was 11.11. And I'm just like blow my mind a little bit more because it's like now 11 28 and when I looked down it was 11 11 I was just like what this is crazy you need to heal this please you do so you heal yourself you also heal this person this is crazy I'm so curious to see yes oh my golly you are the one watching this reading so you are the one that needs to get this message you need to work on you if it is by pulling your energy back and you don't like to do so, heal that. Know that just because you're not with this person doesn't mean you don't love them. Doesn't mean that you guys will never be together in the future. When you heal your own energy, you are healing karma. You can literally speak to this person in, in, before you go to bed at night. And by the way, you do. You may be dreaming about this person. You may be... You'll be able to speak to them in your dreams. You need to even speak. You know, if you know this is your twin flame, um, before you go to bed, you can speak to them just in your mind, even though it's not an actual phone that you're speaking on. But in it, you guys' energies are connected. You can tell them, look, you know, I forgive you for all you've done. I forgive myself for what I've done, my part in all of this. Um, I know you are me and I am you. And I am healing myself you must heal yourself as well. And I will love you now. I will love you forever. Because we are one. Sending you peace. Sending you beautiful energy. This is going to do something major. This is healing you too. This will heal them too. This is going to cause the Eight of Swords energy. That is a feeling that they have of restriction. That is a feeling of frustration. It's in the Ace of Wands as well. You see you guys mirroring each other again. If you can release this person karmically, not to say I never want to be with you again, but release the energy of what the karma is. Release this pain of what the karma is. You will then be able to release them as well. When healing you, you heal them. Only after this healing comes in, can the Ten of Pentacles move in? Let me tell you something. To have a Ten of Pentacles energy in a person's energy, you guys are energetically matched. There's two lovers card on the table. There is a justice. There's a strength. There's a Ten of Pentacles. This can go to a very strong, beautiful, absolutely beautiful connection. This can go to... You guys can... Wow. You guys can reunite this bond. This is wowie. As usual, Gemini, your readings the past two weeks, I'm blown away. I want to see advice from guides. You see, we're using the under. Oh my God. <laughs> this is nice, Spirit Guides. Thank you. The way you're revealing the cards, I have no words, honestly. Um, look at this. Heal what is in with si inside of you first. Then this connection. Because I don't think you guys are together right now will begin again and this is a page of pentacles 
security, new beginning, being able to start again. This page is what comes in when we are going to be led to the Ten of Pentacles. This is even what I was saying, the offering of healing to this person, even on an energetic level. Um, the offering of peace, the offering of forgiveness to this person. Not even having to say it to them on an energetic level. Nobody is more connected than twin flames on this planet. There are no two people more connected. Then you can rebuild. Oh my God, a lot of security coming in here. Only after you heal yourself, only after you find the strength to do what you know is right, which is actually the healing, even pulling back energy because now is not the right time, you will be able to release this person. This is crazy. This is telling a story, these three cards. You'll be able to start again. You will be able to rebuild what has been broken. It has already happened. This is the rebuilding of security, building it up again. And then it leads to this, the Ten of Pentacles energy, the actual outcome, the journey, the, uh, the ending, but not the ending, it's only just the beginning. Because this is when the two of you begin together. Wow, there we go. Gemini, again, your reading blows my mind. I don't even know what to say. I was just so shocked. I was just like, when I saw the two lovers cards come up, I was like, just wait a minute. I just did the Gemini reading. It's coming up again. I can't believe this. But I'm so glad it is for you. And I'm so glad if you did watch that, you can see yeah, we're still going here. Hey? We're going to check into the extended. I want to see um, like what what how how do you heal this energy with inside of you how do we get to rebuild this because there's a lot of this energy here that's coming in i just know spirit guide's gonna have something else to say with regards to this reading as well because this is a journey there's going to be some time that you guys spend without each other first before reunion happens so we're going to be looking into that energy as well what is the reaction going to be of them during this time. There we go. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Bye.